What is good, y'all? This is your boy, Westb502, one-fifth of the live movement here, live movement network, I should say. And I want to talk about the one. And this is going to be unedited. I'm just going to ramble on for a little minute. Now, first things first, I do like what they did with the one this year and how they set it up. See, we got four different tiles here to, you know, four different ways to play it. I think they should add another one, not just, you know, not just have the Pro-Am Tour, but just have an online Pro-Am competitive mode where teams go and look for other teams and play in full Pro-Am games, which brings me to my first point. These games that are, EA has to do a, a, a better job of separating Pick up games from Pro-Am games. Because right now, the only difference between a Pro-Am game and a pickup game in NBA Live is that in a Pro-Am game, you wear the same uniform as your teammates. In a pickup game, you don't. And that's not how it is in real life. So, with some people, although you have these authentic courts in the game, you lose some authenticity points by having these Pro-Am games be games of 21. Like, if I go into Cherish or Playground, and I'm going the Chosen League Tournament, these should be full games. All right? Like, I want to see these be full games next year. Not over-glorified games of 21. These should be full games, four quarters. All right? Like, these should be full games. Like, that's self explain. I don't think I have to divulge into that any deeper. If it's... If it's Pro-Am, it needs to be full games. No other way around it. So, throwback challenges, they can stay at 21. I feel like those those aren't Pro-Am games. Those are just quick challenges, uh, quick pickup games you play. So, those, I don't mind being games of 21. But when I'm playing in the Pro-Am, whether it be a tournament or an online competitive Pro-Am mode, while I'm wearing the same uniform as my teammates, those games need to be full games, fouls, free throws, you know, all the sorts. But let's go to the pickup part of the one, the pickup games. And I think people get confused because they want live run pickup to be four quarters when it shouldn't be that way because it, it clearly says this is just a pickup game. A pickup game is a game going to a certain score. And I think a way to improve this, though, you can Im- you can improve this by giving lobby hosts or, you know, giving the user more, more options. What I mean by that is everybody doesn't want to play five on five. And five on five isn't the only way to play pick up basketball one-on-one I mean you have one-on-one scrimmage in the game already make it an online competitive mode why not and then add two on two add three on three three on three is becoming a staple in basketball now you got the three on three Mountain Dew tournament you have the big three that comes on TV You have three-on-three in the Olympics. Eventually, you're going to have to put three-on-three into the game. Whether it's patched in later on this year or it's in the next installment. Either way it it goes, it needs to be in the game. And like I said, one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three, or four-on-four. Like I said, everybody doesn't like to play five-on-five. The court can get very cluttered playing five on five because sometimes you play with guys who don't know where they need to be on the court makes it chaotic makes it cluttered so as a user as a lobby host i feel like i should have the option to change my lobby up change it to a one-on-one lobby or two-on-two or three-on-three or four-on-four also give me the ability to kick people out who i don't want in my lobby that headache of a player who doesn't like to pass the ball 
or that guy who is just bad at the game. Whatever the reason may be, give me the ability to kick people out of my lobby. Another option they can add for the pickup part of the one, the pickup game, the live run part of the one, they can add in an option that gives us the ability to change the score output. 21, a game of 21 might last, I don't know, around 7 to 10 minutes at the most. Let us change the score sometimes. Hey, if I'm playing 5-on-5, five five, a pickup game of 5-on-5, five five, maybe I want to play the 50 one time. Or I'm playing one-on-one. -on -one. Let me go to 11, and we're going by ones and twos. Like, give the user more option instead of just giving us one way to play. And that's just 5-on-5 five five to 21. Another thing. In the pickup games, that has got to change. It, it has to change. Defensive three in the key. Oh, my goodness. It, that not being called is such. I don't know. I, I, like, I don't want to curse in this video, but I, I truly despise that offensive three in the key is called and defensive three in the key is not called. Because big men can just stand under the rim and you can't go into paint. And if you get bumped, you know in 21 there's no foul that's going to be called. So it essentially turns the game into a jump shot shooting game. Unless you have a stretch five, a stretch big that can take the center out of the paint. If you don't, then that, that big you're playing against is just going to sit under the rim and wait for you to come in. I think that's whack. Either take away offensive three in the key or add in defensive three in the key. You got to do one or the other it's because it's not fair. It's not It's not balanced out. You got to find a way to balance it out. Like I said, either get rid of offensive three in the key so that they call nothing in the game or add in defensive three in the key. I would rather they add in defensive three in the key Make these guys play defense instead of them just standing under the rim. That takes no skill at all. So, and, th and that improves the experience. I, I don't have a shooter. I got to go to the rim. I got to go to the rim. And I can't score. I can't help my team out by giving them points if – you know, I don't have a jump shot and I got to go to the rim, but there's this seven foot goon standing under the rim the entire possession because he's not going to get called for defensive three in the key. So that has to change. Another little, little small little option I think they should have is I don't know if it'll work, but I would like to see us have the ability to, like, you know, change our player while in the lobby. Say, like, I have my hybrid wing right now. But let's say I want to switch to my point guard. I have to back all the way out and switch from the main menu. If we could switch from right here, that would be great. I mean, we can already change our traits up. Uh, I think we can, yeah, we can upgrade our skills. And I think they can add in, I hope they can add in another option that lets us change our players out while in the lobby without leaving the lobby. But, like I said, these improvements will help this mode tremendously, in my opinion. But that's all I want to say. I'm not going to keep rambling on. I've rambled on for like eight, nine minutes. Hopefully the right people see this video and, and hopefully EA takes everything I said into consideration because I truly believe that everything that I said needs to be in this game. And I think it will help the experience it'll help the online experience it'll give nba live a more authentic feel than what it already has now i mean when i go into the drew it feels authentic but you gotta have the authentic pro-am gameplay which is it's a regulated game it's not an over over glorified game 
of 21. And as far as pickup games go, you have to give users other ways to play. It can't just be five on five, a game of 21. Guys, everybody doesn't like to play five on five. I said it a thousand times already in this video. Some guys just want to play three on three. Some guys just want to play two on two. Guys like me want to play one on one. Five on five is cool, but you got to give us other ways to play. All right, but it's your boy Westby502 signing out. I will be back with another video. I'll talk about LUT in the next video. But like I said, it's your boy Westby signing out. Peace.